Am I really going to make a video while I look this shitty? Yes, yes I am. I want to talk about something. I don't know how deep I will go into this. I will probably make another video where I go deeper into it, but I just need to get shit off my chest. Is that a trans guy joke? Pun not intended. Just need some comfort so I don't get too mad. Femininity within trans guys. We need to discuss it because oh my god. So first of all, I have my own certain beliefs and things, um, but no matter what, unless it's clearly obvious that you are making fun of trans people or that you have absolutely no idea what the fuck being trans even mean, I will not question your identity. I don't know what goes in in other people's minds in the same way that other people don't know what is going on inside my mind. So I'm very much at the basic that I don't judge other people. And therefore, I also feel like that the trans community, especially, we tend, a lot of trans people tend to follow gender norms. And I feel like instead of following them, we should try and destroy them. Like, I am so tired of seeing a trans guy wearing a dress and he's feeling himself and he's feeling good. And then people in the comments are like, that's not trans. You're not trans enough. But if a cis guy did it, and if a cis guy did it, and he got hate, we would all be like, you're just fucking ignorant. A guy can be feminine. But as soon as a trans guy do a trans guy does it, he's not trans enough. In my personal opinion, if a cis guy can do it, then a trans guy can also do it. Trans I, I don't I just get so frustrated when people don't let trans guy do the same. Trans guys should be allowed to do the same things as cis guys, and this shouldn't make them any less male. Cis guys are slowly trying to fight against toxic masculinity and be like, we can be feminine. Cis straight guys, and that's amazing. Cis gay guys have been doing it for a long time, and cis straight guys are finally being like, yeah, we can be feminine. But for some reason, to toxic masculinity is so prevalent in the trans community. And not even just from other people putting in on trans people, but also trans people putting in on other trans people. Why is it so hard to accept that just like a cis guy can be feminine, a trans guy can also be feminine, just like a cis guy can like wearing makeup and having dresses on, yet still be a guy, the same can a trans guy. I, I just don't get... It. Personally, it's not my... I wouldn't have my day-to-day -day thing being feminine, because I like being more ma slightly more masculine. I'm just so tired of seeing a trans guy who, and I look up, I look up to trans guys who can wear feminine clothing and makeup and all that and accessories and be confident in it. Cause oh, that's all I want. I want to someday, I want someday to be able to fucking wear a dress and not give two fucks about whether or not people see me as male enough. Cause I know I'm a man. I know I'm a man. <laughs> The problem is, and some trans guys just don't care about passing, so as long as they know they are a man, they don't care about whether or not other people know. And I, oh my god, I wish I could be like that. But for, there are some other trans people out there who looks at those people, who looks at those people who identify as male, and you see him pronouns, but just dress more femininely, and call them trans trenders. And I've already made a little video about me discussing how much I hate the term trans trenders. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Fuck, let trans guys be feminine. I don't get it. I don't... Sure, I as a trans guy who gets really dysphoric when it comes to femininity but still likes femininity, I get it. I get it. I can look... I often look at trans guys who are feminine and be like, how... How can you wear a dress and be confident? How can you do that? But that doesn't take away from their identity. And I see so many people out there seeing as soon as a trans guy is the slightly, slightest bit feminine, they're like, oh, so you're not trans? No, you're not trans. You're non-binary? You're so you're non-binary. You're oh, you're not trans at all. You're not a trans guy? Are you non-binary? It's just like, if a cis guy can wear a dress, paint his nail, put on makeup and stilettos, then so can a trans guy. I just... I don't... <sighs> so it makes me frustrated. It's not 
that. I know as soon as I get on top search, on top surgery. I know as soon as I get on T and get my top surgery that I will become a lot more feminine, just because that those two things alone will be thus so I'm able to pass more, and thus so even if I dress more feminine, I will hopefully still be able to pass. So I know in the future I will probably become one of those trans guys who wouldn't really mind. I wouldn't wear it day to day, but I wouldn't mind. Fuck no. I wouldn't mind wearing a skirt or a fucking dress. And it's also weird to like explain it to people who don't really understand. My dad, he's so cute. He is so, so he tries his best to be so supportive, and I love him for it. Um, we were looking f through my closet and stuff like that, and he took out a dress, and he was like, "Oh, so we gonna throw this away?" And I, I was just like, no, because I still really like the dress. I'm just not comfortable wearing it at the moment. <laughs> I'll be right back. My dad needs help. Ah. I'm back and I've put on my dysphoria shirt. Okay, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we were cleaning out the closet. My dad found a dress and was like, okay, so we're throwing this out now. And I was like, oh, I, I still really, really like that dress. I just don't feel comfortable wearing it right now. What was my point with that story? Something about femininity. I know that. I don't mind that they don't pass. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I can't wrap in my head how you can be okay with not passing, but that doesn't mean that I don't validate that trans person's identity. You know? It's very simple. Just because I don't understand it doesn't mean it isn't real. I don't understand fucking quantum physics. But it's probably still real. I don't understand how the inside of a computer works. Still real. Um, so I might not understand why some trans people do certain things. Why some trans girls are okay with being masculines. And why some trans guys are okay with being extremely feminine. I don't get it. Like, I get it to the point as to as long as I still pass, I don't mind. But again, that's that's most likely toxic masculinity speaking. By that, I mean having a fundamental problem with being feminine, not just in, that's not my preference, but having an actual problem with people being feminine, guys being feminine, that's probably toxic masculinity speaking. Because that's the same thing you would hear, like, a cis guy say. Like, oh no, I don't want to be feminine, because that's something a girl would do, or I don't want to do that, because that's gay. I mean, we are really, we, we are, oh my god, we are really going to put ma toxic masculinity into the trans community? Really? Are we, are we going to do that? Are we going to accept that? We look at cis guys and they, and when they go like, fuck toxic masculinity, there's nothing wrong with being feminine, doesn't take away from how much of a dude I actually am. And we're like, mm, that's big dick energy. When a guy doesn't mind being feminine, big dick energy. But when a trans guy does it, he sudden, suddenly just ain't a guy. He crap, he crap, fuck, English. I don't know, that's some double standards right there. If we truly want equality for trans people, then that also comes along with expression, gender expression, what we want to wear. Um, Cause if a cis guy can do it, then a trans guy can do it. That's equality right there. Sure, some trans people might not be able to understand what I, uh, the tr some trans people might not be able to understand why other trans people do certain things or, or can have the opinion that if I did that, that would make me really dysphoric. Okay, but that doesn't take away from the fact that this trans person can do it and not feel dysphoric, and that's okay. <sighs> Again, I'll make a video go more in depth with this. I just needed to get it off my chest because I really don't understand. Just let people live, honestly, that's all. Let people live. So yeah, this will probably be part one and once I am more uh, mentally stable and I can wrap my head around shit, I will probably make more of an in-death video. But my natural lighting is slowly disappearing and I am so tired. I just... Let people do what what let people do what they want. Except femininity and trans guys. 
femininity in any guy, trans or cis, doesn't make them any less of a guy, doesn't make them any less of a man, doesn't invalidate their identity. Um, I don't know how to fuck YouTubers in their videos. So, um... <laughs> See you later, alligator. That's cringe. I'm not going to do that. Um, like, subscribe, put your opinion down in the comments. I really, I really, I love having debates and like listening to other people's opinions. So please, even if you think that it might offend me, as long as you aren't being blatantly ignorant or like transphobic or some shit, then give me your opinion. Even if you aren't trans, cis people, do you view a trans guy as any less of a guy is he, if he doesn't mind being feminine? And the same question goes for trans people. And if you do, explain why. And if you don't, also explain why. I just... I want to have a debate. But be nice. Please be nice. Oh, Christ. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Turn on notifications. I don't know. Bye. Have a great day. And thank you for listening to my dumb little rant.